All right, so we're getting ready to start the plumbing on this little tub. So we do have a little tub, but the one thing is we're not gonna have a fill spout for the tub. So there'll be just the two handles and then there'll be a shower. So this is the manifold for the little handles that we chose. So we're trying to figure out where on this board we want to put it. We know we want the controls to go here. And so we're trying to figure out up and down and side to side. Um, there will be a small little wall thing here and this will be enclosed. Um, and so the plumbing will live back here. So a couple things we're trying to figure out is how far in to put them. So they do come with these, um, with these things here and what they do is they'll cover up the hole once it's in there you know and kind of dress it up a little bit and so we're trying to figure out how much of this to put through to have you know kind of an ideal setup there so first thing is though is figuring out where we want to put that and then we'll build up the back with some wood and then we'll strap this in on these two pieces here to secure it in place. And so obviously our PEX stuff comes in through here. So we'll have our PEX coming up and meeting the bottom of these. Um, this manifold itself does have provisions for a tub fill and a shower, but we're just gonna cap off the tub fill. If we do wanna fill the tub, we'll probably just use the shower head to fill it up. Um, we don't see ourselves using the tub a ton. That may change, I don't know, but for now we don't. We just didn't wanna have another thing sticking out here. So anyway, that's what we're gonna go with.
All right, so we're continuing the plumbing back here. Um, we've gone ahead and plumbed in the main manifold and now we're gonna take care of the recirculating valve. And so with the recirculating valve, we went super low tech. So we just got a very small quarter turn valve. So originally we did have a ball valve back here, but it was too big. We couldn't really make it fit well in this space. And so what we're gonna do is we've gone ahead and teed off the hot water here. And so the hot water will go up, feed into this valve, and then this valve will go back and then feed back into the tank, which is this line here. So this line is just plumbed right back into the fresh water tank. And so what that'll help us do is it'll help us conserve water. So when we're going to go take a bath or a shower or something like that, we turn on the hot water. It starts the, um, we have a on-demand hot water heater. And so it will start that heater up and start flowing hot water theoretically through all the lines. And so we don't really know how long that'll take. So it'll go up through the manifold, go through the lines, and then come up to here, and then it'll split off right here. So hopefully what will happen, and this is what we're hoping is after about 20 or 30 seconds, there will be hot water right here. And so when we turn the faucet on, of course, you know, the water that's in the shower hose, that might be cold, but we're hoping that the water that comes out of here is is nice and warm right from the start. So that'll help us if we're boondocking, trying to conserve water, that should cut down on our water usage. So um, we're gonna go ahead and plumb this in now, but that's the plan for this guy. So the last piece of this tub is this block that is going to serve to just supply the shower head. So we're not going to have, since we're not going to have the, the tub fill, this is the only thing that's going to come out. And so we're going to put this relatively high, Michelle's already kind of marked the uh, spot, and we'll just drill through there. The back of it is this um, half inch brass nipple that'll go in there, that will go all the way through and then it will be secured in the back um, with a nut probably and then a swivel a pec swivel adapter will go onto there so that'll come down and then into the outlet here on the manifold so this is the last bit of plumbing and so we're going to go ahead and drill that hole <laughs>
Okay, so we finished plumbing this in. We've done our last fitting, which was this one, and this is for the shower outlet. Um, this will have a nut on it that will hold it in place, as well as this swivel adapter on the back to connect the water supply. And so with that, the plumbing in here should essentially be finished. Um, the next thing we're gonna work on now is creating the surrounds for uh, to encase this bathtub all in. So that's the next step.